I feel like that's why you get on so well with Chris. Cause like, I-, I Me I, and Chris I, are true boomers. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like Chris, like like you hang out with Chris as you looking five years into the future. Yeah. Me, me and Chris also, cause we were hanging out. We got, we like made each other more British. The more we hung out and we would say <laughs> shit. Have you seen the Prince Andrew interview? Yeah. No. yeah, yeah. This yeah. is bit where Prince Andrew, as his like alibi for not being friends with Jeffrey Epstein, he's like, no, 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 I was at a Pizza Express in Woking. Do I regret the fact that, that, that he has quite obviously conducted himself in a manner unbecoming? Yes. Unbecoming, he was a sex offender. Yeah, and he's like, the reason why that's an alibi is because that's rather unusual for me. <laughs> and me and Chris were just fucking like laughing. We were like, no, no, no Chris, I was, at a, I was at a Pizza Express in Woking. Like, no, what was his other thing? It was like, I didn't touch the girl, like, because I- Yeah, yeah, he was also- the, the, no, the, was the sweating the, thing, right? The inter yeah, he was like- She was very specific about that night. Mm. She described dancing with you no. and you profusely sweating <laughs> and that she went on to have bath, there's a, there's possibly- a, There's a slight problem with, 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 with the sweating um, because uh, I, I have a peculiar medical condition, which is that I don't sweat Prince Andrew, who served in the Royal Navy, says he developed the rare medical condition during his combat tour in the Falklands War. I can't sweat because in, when I fought in the Falklands War on the front line, I had too much adrenaline and I've been unable to sweat. Despite ending their friendship, Prince Andrew admitted he stayed with Epstein for four days. You were staying at the house of yes. a convicted sex offender. It was a convenient place to stay. It's insane. It makes you think like, oh my God, the royal family is gonna die when the queen <laughs> yeah. dies. Like we are fucked. We are actually fucked. <laughs> someone someone, someone like asked that. why the UK uses pint. Listen, the reason why UK uses pint is because it's more than 500 milliliters. So that means more alcohol. <laughs> the pint is never going away purely because of the volume of alcohol yeah, you get. Yeah, how big is a pint? 568 milliliters. Yeah. Why so specific? Just round it up to 570. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> that's what it is. And like the reason why it's never gonna die is because first of all, Asking for a pint sounds fucking epic. <laughs> yeah. Can I have 500 milliliters, please? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it was just to like represent a battle that was won, I'm guessing against the, the UK. Oh. Um, yeah, I th no, this this doesn't look good. I'm sorry, Connor. Mm. I've seen deviant art drawings that are better than this. <laughs> like- Oh, in English it means, <laughs> thus always to tyrants. Oh, I guess that, yeah, tyrannous, that makes sense. Well, it's literally a flag just to spite British people. And as a British person, there's nothing I admire more than spite. And, yeah, I, I, I and, get that. And making I'm your not, whole identity no, spite. No, I'm, I'm not saying that the drawing, I mean, this that the saying. imagery looks bad. I'm saying the drawing is bad. Name yeah. another flag that sends as strong of a message as this. Fuck the British people. I get behind that. I can get behind that. That's yeah, like that's your you're Welsh. Bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's because you're Welsh. That's, yeah, that's, Welsh. I, think, I think that's the only thing you and Americans have in common now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The like, Union do Jack, something with this The space, Union Jack's like, cool as fuck, yeah. but- Do something with this space. Like what, what, I mean, the Union Jack is good enough as it is. Yeah, that's pretty mid. It's pretty mid gone. The Union Jack is <laughs> no, bad The Union Jack is like the Avengers of flags, man. It's, it's, I mean, it is, it is. Like this, this is, is what happens when you, yeah. when like it's, it's better than the sum of its parts, right? I feel like cause, my family's like mega British. Right. So I yeah. don't have the Christmas meals to me have been like the same for like a fucking, as probably this, they were a thousand years ago. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Just yeah. people awkwardly sitting around a table being like, yes, did you like your presents? I, I did like my <laughs> presents, mother. Should we open a cracker? Do you have crackers in Australia? Uh, the like, Christmas crackers? I thought you mean like white people. Like, yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Carl. I know you have white we people have, in we have, we, we, have, we have many crackers in our Australia. <laughs> Christmas dinner is ready. Come on, everyone. We pull Christmas crackers. I've got a red hat and a joke. Listen. What do frogs write on their Christmas cards? Hoppy Christmas. Oh. You have and a like, paper crown. And the yeah. paper, paper crown. crown. Yeah, there's always oh. a paper crown. Wait, Amer America doesn't have this, huh? Oh my God. No, okay. America doesn't have that. Okay. Yeah, well, we, you know, Uncultured. You'd, Uncultured. You'd, 
pull one of those. They're overpriced. They're like ten dollars yeah. for yeah. a pack of ten, <laughs> and it's shit. And and it's over in like thirty and, seconds. Yeah. Right? You know, when you're like five, you're yeah. like, this is fucking amazing. Yeah, like this is like Death Note levels of like mind games. But then I you got realize, six crowns. I found that people that were interested in Japan came across the videos, and after one year and about eight videos, there were an incredible three hundred and thirty-four subscribers. It was amazing. Felt like a king. Going yeah. from you doing this, where it's three, four drunkards in a room, just chatting in front of a Canon, <laughs> a Canon EOS R camera, <laughs> <laughs> just standing in front of two thousand people, going, "Excellent, brilliant, wonderful." Like, yeah. just like talking, yeah. trying to be bold, yeah, yeah. When I started doing it, I would do the voice of Sebastian. So I Sebastian, you know, Sebastian. Sebastian. I, would, I would do prank calls, you know, and I would call people up and I would tell them, "Oh my goodness, my refrigerator's running." Blah blah blah. There's, a, there's a group of people watching this right now who are just like yeah. frothing from the nostalgia. <laughs> They're like, yeah. "He did the Sebastian wait, 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 wait. voice." I gotta, I gotta, I'm simply one hell of a butler. That line. <laughs> right. Please welcome the stage, Cena. I think you have a few fans. Hello. Oh. oh. Hi. Hello there. Hello. Has anyone told you we have nice ears? <laughs> oh my god, do I really sound like that? <laughs> so I think right. I should end with saying I am simply one hell of a butler. Because my accent is is English, right? But it's not uh, received pronunciation, which is the a typical accent, which is mm. I say grass, but it's grass. Mm. So every time I would do anything, it's like you didn't you didn't say the, the received pronunciation. Can't do it again. I'm like, oh yes, of course. Ballasting, you know, is the you know like that. Yeah. If you have a guarantor, that's the whole fucking point of that problem. Which <laughs> <you> can <laughs> Parmesan slice. Parmesan. 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 Yeah. I just want to call it Parmesan, right? Yeah. Parmesan. Parmesan. Yeah. Parmesan. Parmesan. Yeah. Parmesan. Yeah. Oh, dude, that, that hurts me hearing. <laughs> Yeah. So, so instead of getting more drinks, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck off and go home and watch some bloody anime. Oh and I didn't tell anyone that I was fucking off back home. That boy seems fucking great. From Brighton, by the way, as a, as a born and bred Bright oh, Brightonian. Yeah. yeah, from my from my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, any, any any famous people from where you're from, Connor? I think there was uh, Lost Prophets that band, but then I think they were like pedophiles. So <laughs> we quickly uh, quickly were uh, abandoned that one. <laughs> Are the Lost uh, Prophets English? Are they British? What's the deal? Who Pilkington. are the Prophets? Pilks. Who's the Profs? Pilkey. Um, yeah, I think they are, yeah. yeah. What What was the answer? What was that? Are they English or, or American? I'd say they're American. Just have a guess? <laughs> Why didn't you just say I don't know? Instead of trying to fool us. I, uh, one of my exes I went to the cinema with. We never watched a, uh, a movie in the cinema before. Mm. And I was like, all right, cool. And then she like shouted during the first five minutes and I was like, okay. <laughs> That, in my head, I'm thinking, all right, let's 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 not make this a reoccurring thing. And then like two minutes later, she shouts again. And I'm like, please, please don't do this. Please, I'm I'm British, you can't do this. You can, I can't be seen with you if you're making a commotion in public. Yeah, baseball, cricket, yeah, cricket golf. Actually, I don't like cricket either. I, 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 I don't understand the appeal of watching them, I, man. I really like the cricket. Oh my God. I used to like, I never watched baseball. I never watched soccer. I always used to watch the cricket. Wow. And, and if you thought going to a baseball game was slow, go to a cricket game. Oh, well, that's like a four day thing. And, and well, that's, oh, no, 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 that's no, no, just no. a big piss up though. No, that's no, no, all no. it okay. is. No, I didn't, okay. You're talking about the test cricket, which is oh, like, okay, which right, is right, like right. one okay. game is like five days long, okay. right? They also have, there's three different types. Oh. I can't believe I'm gonna talk about cricket. In this <laughs> it's very educational I have a good, I have a good story about so it. So basically okay, okay. cricket has three different types of games. Okay. There's the test cricket, which is the really long one that most people associate cricket with, right? Right, yeah, like yeah. Five days. So no one goes to watch those, right? Yeah, they yeah. Do. I, don't, yeah I mean, they do, but like you have to be retired, right, and have literally nothing else to do. Right? <laughs> and and is it is it true that after the five days you, you can still come out with no winner? Yeah, there's draws. <laughs> yeah, there's draws it's as crazy. well. Yeah, the best yeah. analogy I heard for that is like imagine having sex for four days and then in the end nobody comes. <laughs> That's test cricket. <laughs> My whole family likes cricket, but I don't like it. And I've made that very clear to them that I didn't like cricket, right? So 13th, uh, I'm 13 years old and it's Christmas, right? Guess what like the main gift they got me was? Cricket bat? A ticket to watch the uh, Ashes or the something. The Ashes. The Ashes. And I was like, mum, I didn't ask for this. I asked for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> it clearly says, I, I know there's no Santa mum. Come on, I'm, I'm not putting up with this act anymore. This is bullshit. And I'm no. pretty sure my, my parents bought me it just so that my dad could like be like, well, oh. if you don't want it, I'll <laughs> 
I, I, I loved wearing my REM cosplay as well. Yeah. I love I love wearing female cosplays. Mm. I feel like the, people have figured that out by now. <laughs> I don't know why, it's so freeing, you know? <laughs> like, especially skirts. Skirts, you get so much movement. In <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Jeans are too constricting. I, I feel the breeze on my balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so liberating. <laughs> like I remember they didn't like this one guy in my dorm because he was kind of pompous. Mm. He was like from South England and he had a very posh accent and he was very, very like, oh, you're you're too poor to talk to me. Yeah, immediately <laughs> sounds like a wanker. Yeah, he, yeah. He, was a, he was like an asshole, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And, and he would like, Unironically, call people peasants. Like I call people. <laughs> like, like I, is, is that how? Is that where you yeah, got it from? That's where I got it from. Because I thought it, I thought it was so funny that he called people peasants, and and he used to think that like I was laughing at the people he was laughing at. Right, right. But right. I used to find it so funny that we're in the year two thousand, and yeah. he's using the word peasant as an insult. <laughs> do you ever turn up your British accent? Um, I mean, I, really. I, go, I go like full fucking Downton Abbey in America sometimes. Really? Because they fucking eat it up, dude. Okay. That, like if they, if I really want them to be nice to me, yeah. Yeah. like and like the the waiter, yeah, you know, yeah. If it, you know, yeah. I want good service. You yeah. know, I'll be yeah. like, oh, thank you so much. That's amazing. Wow, <laughs> wow, thank you. This food is delicious. You did a great job, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember <laughs> Americans would ask me, they're like, do you guys see American accents the way that we see British accents? And I'm like, no, <laughs> not at all, not at all. Oh, is it like attractive? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like they were like, cause they were, I remember one time I, the way I explained it to them, I was like, if, there's an American on public transport. Everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows. Filthy American? I'm joking.